Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirect Hakai. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Group Policy Management Console on Windows 11. Group Policy Management Console, which is a GPMC, will always help system administrators to manage Group Policy Objects, GPO, from a single console. There is a GPO editor in Windows 11, which is uh, by default, which can be used to configure local policies, but it does not have the GPMC, which can be used to administer global active directory policies. The GPO editor can be launched with um, GP Edit MSC, it's just by entering gp edit msc here you are going to launch the um gpu editor but that's not what we are talking about this is the local group policy editor what we are talking about is the gp let me go to wrong gp mc dot msc so if i click ok but currently we do not have it on this windows 11 so that is what i'll be showing you now the steps in uh, installing this dpmc and you'll be able to launch it successfully on your system so let's watch as i continue so the next thing I'm going to do now is I will be using PowerShell to install the GPMC. So I'm going to run it as administrator. So I will run it as administrator. I'll right click it, then select run as administrator. So once you run it as administrator, you are going to make use of this uh command here so once you run this command it's going to install the um console the gpmc console on your system so the video uh sorry the installation are finally completed successfully as you can see so for us to confirm on the system i'm going to type group here to see whether we actually have a group policy management console installed successfully. So as you can see, we have the app now, the group policy management app. So I'm going to load it. I'm going to launch it. So I'm getting this message. So why am I getting this message? It's all because I'm currently not on the demo domain network and I'm not using an account that have uh permission so uh if you want to try this make sure you are you are on a domain network and you have the account that have that permission so if i click ok now the console will launch but i will not see any policy to manage so let me click ok now as you can see there is no policy to manage just because i'm not connected to a domain network and i don't have that uh, permission here but this is actually the step to take if you want to install the gpmc console on your windows 11 system so uh, the next step now i'm going to take is to uninstall it using powershell also so i'm going to launch the powershell again then I'll be using this command, this second command. So I'll paste it. Then hit the enter key. So the operation I've completed successfully. So you 
he's asking me a question do you want to restart the computer now um i'm not restarting but let's see if we still have the let me type the group policy again okay it's still showing so we might need to restart this system so i'm going to restart it then we can now continue the video because i'm going to use another step to install it so i have now restarted my system so if we search for gpmc again let me type group here let's see whether we are going to see it as you can see we cannot find that console again to launch so it means we have successfully uninstalled it from our system so another way we can install it if you are not using powershell is through optional features you can type optional features you can search it just click on it and once it opens you are going to see this page then you can search for group gpmc group let me management let's see group policy oh i'm actually typing it on install features so um i was supposed to click on view features then from here you can now type group is already showing here so um just click just check on this box here then you click on next then you will see the install button then the group policy management tools is currently installing as you can see from the installation bar so it's going to take some seconds to complete the installation and once it's done then you can get to launch your group policy management console again so let's be patient while the installation continues So we are going to come back to the video once the installation completes. The installation are finally complete. As you can see, it is now installed. If we search our system now, we are going to see the management console installed on it. Let me search group. You can see group policy management is now back on our system so that is uh, another way you can uh, install group policy management to a console on your system if you don't want to make use of uh, powershell then you can use optional features so these are the two steps which are pretty straightforward and very easy to do I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.